Hello everyone, welcome to Sade's Tarot Tea. So today I have a really exciting video. I'm doing a video on all of the cusps. So um, I'm going to be putting all of these uh, cusps together in this one video. So if you guys want to just hop to your cusp sign, go right ahead. Okay, so um, let's get started. I'm so excited. I Let me just start off by saying I believe in cusps. I believe that they do exist. The reason I believe in it is because I know I've known of a couple of cusp people in my life a lot actually and they don't just identify with one energy like they identify with two of the energies. Now when I say cusp I don't mean that these people are actually two zodiac signs. I mean that they actually have both of these energies that the that both of these zodiac signs have okay so in my world in my universe i like to say when i explain cusp to people now everybody explains cusp differently this is how i go about it um so before i get any trolls on here that are talking about oh my god cusp don't exist like you can't be two zodiac signs listen i'm not talking about them being two of this two zodiac signs or saying I'm a Gemini and a Taurus. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, I mean, if they want to identify with and say that they're a Taurus and a Gemini, then let them. Like, who the fuck are you to tell someone that they're not a certain, like, they can't be two of the same, you know, they can't be two zodiac signs. So, you know, there's this whole big controversy going around with astrologers, you know, astrologers laugh at people that identify with being a cusp. And I just think that's stupid. It's like, if we're going to, you know, it's bad enough that we have people that make fun of us for believing in stuff like this, but then you go and shit on people that, you know, identify it as being a cusp. Like, that's stupid. So, you know, you're being just as judgmental as that person that doesn't believe in astrology. So that's my whole rant on that. I just wanted to knock that out the way before I get some people on here arguing with me and others about them identifying as a cusp. Let that person identify as a cusp. Let them be them, okay? So let me go ahead and start off. I will be giving the dates. Now, some people have been, you if know, you guys don't want to listen to other people's cusp energy, then just go ahead and skip to yours. I'm going to put the timestamps below, okay? Okay, so the first cusp we have is the Capricorn and Aquarius cusp, and your dates would be January 16th through the 22nd. So I'm not going to go ahead and follow what this says. I'm balancing off of your energy and what I feel this is um, um, how your personality is. That's different just than just being one zodiac energy, than just identifying with one zodiac energy. So being um, a, a Capricorn Aquarius cusp, I think that is so cool. I mean, you being um, you having your being part of a Capricorn is you're already having that um, hard worker mentality. You already work hard for what you want. You are so loyal. Being having that Aquarius with you too, you're very innovative your hands on, you get things done, you're able to see the um, the bigger picture of things. I feel like Aquariuses can see the bigger pictures, big picture, bigger picture of things. Whereas, you know, a Capricorn is just kind of like head, like headstrong, you know, head down, moving forward, um, doesn't, you know, stop to smell the roses, where, which as, whereas the Aquarius does, but the Aquarius remains um, this badass, like where, you know, where, and, you know, you being, you already having that Capricorn energy, you're already a badass, you're already a boss, but just having that extra oomph, oomph of having that Aquarius energy makes you more imaginative, makes you able to broaden your horizons and how you think more, um, which is beautiful. I think that is great to have, um, you know, you're also more creative. It gives you more of that creative balance, you know, that you would have if you had that Pisces energy, you know, Aquarius is are very creative, you know, and they're very innovative at the same time. And, you know, with that Aquarius energy, you can put that towards being a hard, hard worker. Also, I was going to say too, you know, you, um, you're just naturally witty with your jokes. You know, you maybe may, you know, Aquariuses have an interest, interesting type of personality, but, um, in regards to their humor. So I feel like, the jokes won't land so dry <laughs> with that Aquarius humor that has that layer onto that Capricorn energy. It just makes you more likable. I feel like it makes you more, you know, because Capricorns can sometimes not get liked a lot. Like, actually, we come off, we come on really strong, but 
Aquariuses, I noticed just everyone loves them. A lot of people love Aquariuses and they have that very likable, charming quality to them. So you can kind of interchange with being likable or being like, you know, headstrong. You know, you can just kind of like fluctuate. Like Aquarius energy helps you like fluctuate. And I think that's so cool. I mean, I would love to have that too. Plus with that extra added on layer of that Aquarius energy, you're already uh, mysterious as it is and you're already um, just a very aloof and mysterious and Capricorns are pretty much this way too but there's that very whimsical charming energy about you that makes you wants people wants people um, that makes people want to know more about you and they aren't so like quick to just like write you off as being a bitch <laughs> there's that too the next cusp we have is Aquarius Pisces an Aquarius Pisces cusp if your birthday is between February 15th through the 21st. Aquarius and Pisces. I think this is such a cool combination because with that Aquarius energy, you know, you're already much a hippie as it is. You know, you like to be very... Like I was saying about January and um, February cusp, um, you're already with that, you know, uh, Aquarius energy. You float about. You do your own thing. Like people you know, don't tell you what to do. They don't tell you what how to dress. You set your own trend. You're very artistic with that Pisces energy. Very dreamy. Very whimsical. Very all about fairy tales and like fantasy. But then there's that Aquarius side of you that's still very realistic. I still feel like even though Aquarius has that um, that whimsical side to them. They're one of those zodiac signs that are still very realistic at the same time, but there's that charming aspect to them where they don't quite, you know, squash people's dreams. They're just very delicate when they speak to people about certain things such as like dreams and stuff. And I feel like you being on that Pisces, um, that air, that uh, Aquarius Pisces cusp, you're already very... Um, uh, sensitive to the, to how people think, how people dream, you know, you're a big advocate for being a dreamer and, you know, the way you wear, you just wear these like nice flowy outfits. Um, your hair would probably be up in a nice like hairstyle, like, you know, very, I don't know, like I got that Aquarius energy with my Capricorn energy, but look at how I wear my hair. It's just like, I don't know. It's just like different. I don't know. Like, I just love wearing my hair very like, <sighs> like fairy tale-ish. It's, that's what this, uh, cusp, reminds me of it reminds me of fairy tales dragons and you know amazingness <laughs> and you know Aquariuses have this too like I said even though they're very realistic they you know have you having that Aquarius that that air and water element it just gives you that very airy but very dreamy and and dark mysteriousness about you because Pisces can be dark too you know they can have that very dark aloofness about them but, you know, they have that, that, that thing that draws you in that makes you want to know more about them, you know, and you also having that Aquarius energy won't be so open, you know, it protects your Pisces. So I think this, I like this cusp. I think this, if you have this, this uh, cusp, I think you are so lucky. Hey everybody. So I forgot to include Aries Taurus. Oh my God. So sorry about that guys. Um, so the, I'm going to insert this clip, um, into my my video that's why I'm wearing a different outfit so I'm gonna talk about Aries Taurus cusps um you know so if you're an Aries Taurus cusp if you were born in between the dates um April 16th through the 22nd and Aries um Aries Taurus cusp man like the Aries are very headstrong as as it is and then you know you add that Taurus energy along with it so with that Aries and which makes you even more stubborn <laughs> um I'd say these people are very um good at go getting they're good at getting what they want they're very headstrong they don't take no for an answer you know when they set their mind to something they they push forward and and they do it and um they have great endurance they have great um authority and you know and they're very good at I'd say they're really they're pretty good at being bosses at you know managing you know a place that needs an authoritative boss but very chill at the same time so you know these are the types of people that are going to want to go and get out and do things and just be very um outgoing and protective but very honest and you know they have this like chill energy to them so at the same time so you know you'll notice that these two will balance between you know um being passionate being passionately driven and being loving you know the taurus helps the aries to consider um you know being more loving and forthright and aries are loving i'm not saying that they're not 
but the Aries, um, that, that Aries energy helps the Taurus to, you know, to go for what they want to be more assertive while the Taurus energy helps the Aries energy of this cusp to be more understanding <clears throat> and compassionate to think before they do things because Arians can just go forward and do stuff and they're very impulsive so they don't really take the time to consider, okay, this could land me in this type of mess or this can land me in that type of mess if I'm not careful. You know, the Taurus relaxes that Aries um, impulsiveness, you know. Um, so this is a good cusp, I feel like, because as well, uh, you know, they're still assertive and they like to stay home, but then they like to go out and do things. So it, you know, and Taurus is as well get told that they're boring. So I feel like that Aries energy just helps the Taurus to be more exciting and to do things a lot, you know, to move a lot faster because, you know, people mistake Tauruses for moving, um, when they move slow, they, they mistake that as like laziness or that they don't want to do it or, you know, so that's my, so that's my little spiel on Aries and Taurus. I hope you guys enjoyed that part. Sorry, I had to insert this clip. I totally forgot to include Aries and Taurus. I was like, wow, how did I forget that? But this is a really good cusp, very powerful cusp as well. So back to the video. <laughs> uh, no, excuse me. Next, we have the Pisces Aries cusp. If you are a Pisces Aries cusp, you are born between March 17th through March 23rd. And I must say, like, I admire this cusp a lot because I have a coworker who has this cusp and so I can speak about this personally on how she is but I personally love her being on this cusp because she has that aggression like in Aries but she also has that very like fun side and um and that like jokey joke Pisces type of like oh let's not take life so seriously like let's never grow up type of personality plus mixed with that Aries you know Aries can be someone even though they can be bosses and they can go for what they want they can be very abrupt and aggressive when they want something um you know, they can also be very childlike and never want to grow up type of energy. And that's what this cusp reminds me of. It reminds me of a cusp of, it reminds me of kids that never want to grow up. You know, it reminds me of Peter Pan. I feel like Peter Pan would be um, a March 17th through March 23rd cusp, you know. So I think that this cusp is also cool because it gives you that, like, you know, it, it gives you that fire, like that, um, you know, it puts that fire under your ass type of, energy and it moves that Pisces energy and gets shit you know that Aries energy will help that Pisces energy to get shit done and to be more proactive and aggressive and you know not apologizing for what they want or how they dream and Pisces can be like this too but I feel like they're not assertive enough you know they they are those types that don't like to get on people's bad side so I feel like if they have that Aries energy they don't give a fuck especially if they're in that Aries type of mood you'll see these two energies fluctuate a lot too. Like I was saying about, you know, uh, Pis uh, Aquarius and Pisces, that Pisces and Aquar uh, Aquarius and Pisces cusp. Like you'll see the same thing happen. I feel like I see this all the time with my coworker. Like she fluctuates between being an Aries and um, being a Pisces or being an Aries, you know? So it's like funny. You never know which one you're going to get with her. Um, but you'll be able to tell because she will still, like, she still gets moody. So <laughs> like, I can tell when she's like in her Pisces mood and I can tell when she's in her Aries mood. And when she's in her Aries mood, she's like boss. Like I'm like, like working, like, and don't bother me, you know? Um, but also I love her in her Pisces, um, uh, energy because then she's playful and fun and very lighthearted, you know? Also, you know, <laughs> I feel like, when the Aries takes over, the Pisces just goes away with this cusp because the Aries will treat everything like an emergency and they want to get everything done. So they kind of like throw that out the window of being a Pisces. So I like seeing, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of funny, you know, I like seeing these two energies, you know, combat each other. I feel like these two energies really combat each other, but they complement each other at the same time. So it's like fun to watch. <laughs> Also, you know, with that Aries and that Pisces energy, you'll still be very creative, but you'll just be a lot more driven with your goals or, you know, with you, with what you are dreaming about, you'll be like sure of yourself and you'll be more confident. You know, Pisces can sometimes let other people persuade them that, okay, maybe you shouldn't be an artist because, you know, it's not for everybody, you know, or you won't make money. But with that Aries energy, um, you know, it helps them to, you know, push forward and to be more, like I was saying, more assertive for what they want. So I like this cusp a lot too. Okay, so the next cusp we have is Taurus and Gemini. Um, if you are a Taurus Gemini cusp, if you are born between May 17th through the 23rd, 
um, of May. So um, this cusp is interesting because um, I have another friend whose sister is on this cusp and I actually got to know her a little bit and I saw her like fluctuate between these two energies and she's like, I don't know which one I am today. Like she's so comical. Like I love this energy too because you know, the Taurus will want to stay home. Your Taurus energy will make you want to stay home, not go out, not do anything. But that Gemini, like, will fight with that Taurus because these, these, uh, the, the Gemini wants to get out and go do things and, and just go live life and have fun and, and, and be so, um, chatty with everybody and make a lot of friends. But then the Taurus energy, um, of this cusp is just like, no, let's stay home. Let's be in the comfort of our own home. Let's just be lazy for the day. Like, let's not do anything. Like, let, like, it's slow like this energy slows the gemini energy down like the taurus will slow the gemini energy down um but the gemini um energy will try to kick in but like you'll see these two energies like fight with each other and you know i feel like you're also creative with this too because gemini's are very creative tauruses can be creative too but i also love this energy in a way because it helps the Taurus to be more, uh, it helps, excuse me, the Taurus energy helps the Gemini energy to focus more, to be more, um, you know, uh, tunnel vision and to go forward and not be so flighty all the time. But again, this is a, this is a cusp where they have to be in their element. So I think this, um, I think the, I think this cusp is a good one too. Like, and it keeps the Taurus a lot more open-minded. Um, the Gemini energy helps the Taurus to be a lot more open-minded, to try things, to try new things. Taurus can be uh, like really set in their ways and not want to try new things, but Geminis are very open to trying new things. Excuse me, Geminis are also very open to like traveling and to going out, like I said, and partying. And that Gemini energy helps the Taurus to be a lot more exciting, I feel like, even though I don't feel like Tauruses are boring. But some people feel like Tauruses are boring. So I feel like if you're a Gemini, if you're if you if you're Taurus Gemini cusp, it really helps to um have this Gemini energy push forward the Taurus energy to be more uh adventurous and exciting and to go out and do things, you know, that other people would want to engage in. You're a lot just more open minded. Okay, so next we have Gemini Cancer Cusp. You are a Gemini Cancer Cusp if you were born between June 17th through the 23rd. So for me, this energy of these two is in is interesting as well. I mean, these are all interesting, but Gemini and Cancer. I feel like this is a struggle too. I do know somebody on this cusp. My friend is a, uh, is a Gemini Cancer Cusp and she's very funny. Like she's so comical and she loves to uh, crack jokes. She likes for people to make her laugh, you know, but at the same time when she is home, she is serious. She is all about being a mother. She's all about making sure that things get done. She has that Cancer energy where she gets things done. Gemini's get things done too, but I feel like, you know, that water, like I said, with that air water energy, it just helps focus the energy a lot more. Also, um, you know, that cancer will help the Gemini to hold their ground more and it will help them to have better focus and to be a lot more empathetic to people because Geminis sometimes don't really realize that they're hurting people's feelings or they don't realize that, hey, what you just said wasn't funny, you know, so the cancer energy helps them to tune into their energy more. Um, same with, you know, Aquarius and Pisces cusp. I feel like the same thing for them, you know, it helps these, these air water cusps help to focus the, you know, that air energy, the water to be more empathetic, to be more, um, okay, loving and nurturing and not be so floaty, uh, you know, floaty everywhere or, or just float everywhere and not, you know, consider everyone, you know, consider other people, especially when it comes to their emotions. Um, you know, so that's a big thing for this cusp. I feel like, you know, they can, the cancer energy can help the Gemini to be more empathetic and to be more loving, not saying that Geminis aren't loyal, uh, aren't loyal or loving, um, as well. Um, but you know, the cancer water energy just helps the Gemini to like, think about, you know, how that person would feel or, you know, to like watch what they say or to not say everything all the time, you know, like that could offend people or to not crack those all the time funny jokes, you know, in horrible situations, you know, like Geminis say things kind of when they're nervous, like they joke nervously or when you confront them, they're good at confronting. So I also feel like the, con the, when you confront this, this cause, they're a lot better at handling it because they don't get so sensitive. They're able to like brush a few things off here and there, like, okay, that's fine. You said that to me, whatever, like the cancer, you know, helps understand the emotions, but the, the Gemini's logic helps for the cancer energy of this person to just like keep moving forward and to not, you know, soak into the pity and the sadness of things. So I like this cuss too. 
Okay, next we have Cancer Leo Cusp. I think I know this cusp too. So if you're a Cancer Leo cusp, your dates are July 19th through the 25th of July. So this cusp I feel like is interesting. Fire on like water on fire. Like that's very interesting. You know, I feel like this is another energy that's a little hard to, bal to balance because, you know, that Leo energy wants to take charge, but the Cancer energy doesn't want to trample on other people's toes to take charge. Even though I was saying like Cancers can, I've been saying Cancers can be bosses, you know. Cancers can help other people to better themselves, whereas the Leo energy could trample on other people's feelings or not be considerate of other people's feelings. But both of these energies are always willing to help people. So you'll meet those Cancer Leo cusps that want to help you and they won't be so abrupt when they're trying to help you like a regular Leo would be. You know, that Cancer energy will help them to simmer them out a bit and to not be so forward when um, confronting someone or not be so forceful when, um, you know, making sure, you know, making sure that their, their, their voice is being heard. Um, also, you know, I feel like the downfall of this cusp a little bit is that they're both, these signs are very dramatic, you know, they can be very dramatic when they're emotional and they can just get all up in their emotions and, you know, they're very intense. I feel like because I have that cancer, energy where it's just like when a cancer gets emotional they just like mope a lot so but the leo um overly dramatizes things when they're emotional um and i say that respectfully but that's what th these two combinations can do but in all all in all they could be very i feel like this cusp is very entertaining i feel like they're very fun to be around that leo energy gets that cancer to come out of their shell a lot you know, that you'll see that these this cusp is a little bit more talkative than a normal cancer. You know, they're not so quick to, like, guard themselves. They're just open in a, in a way, but there's that guardedness about them. So they'll be open, but they won't be completely open. But they'll be open enough to where they, like, you can get to know them. And, you know, it's not hard breaking through their shell, you know. I also feel like both these signs are good at, like, cooking and being a mother. Like, I feel like because both cancer and Leo are just all about children and the home so I feel like that would help anybody to be a good mother or father um so yeah interesting I feel like these two like I was saying about Aries and Pisces Pisces and Aries excuse me I feel like these two can combat each other a lot so it's just interesting okay so next we have Leo Virgo cusp so you know you're a Leo Virgo cusp when your dates are August 19th through the 25th I actually know these, I know, I think I know two of these cusp people, um, you know, it's, this, it's so funny seeing these people, how these Leo Virgo cusp people operate because, you know, a Virgo is already very organized and, you know, um, they're very cleanly. So everything has to be done a certain way. You know, they're very bossy in a way. So they like things done a certain way. They, uh, and then with that Leo energy added onto it, they're more assertive and they're more in your face about it. And they're like, do this, do that, do this, do that. And they mean well, but they're just like very openly bossy more than, you know, a Virgo someone who's just a Virgo, these people are a little bit more reserved when they're bossy. They wait till they like fully know you, but the Leo just doesn't care. Like they're like, which adds on to the Virgo. So it's just like, it amplifies the Virgo. So it's like, you know, they're, they're like, oh no, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be all up in your face about it. I want it done. But I also feel like these people are a lot more aggressive. You know, they're those Virgos that with that Leo energy that will be more aggressive with you. They'll be more in your face with you. They'll be willing to throw down for you just because you know, that got that fire on top of that earth. So it just like propels that energy forward and makes that person more confident and assertive. And I feel like you'll meet if, if you're on a Leo Virgo cusp, you'll just be a lot more assertive and a lot more confident and sure of yourself. Also might love staring at yourself a lot um, in the mirror, you know, and um, you'll just be more energetic and you'll want to go out more. Whereas the, you know, a Virgo, a person that's just a Virgo is, you know, they want to stay home um, also, but the, um, but with that Leo energy, they'll want to go out. They'll always want to go be doing something, you know, but also I was going to say, um, their style might be a little bit more out there too. They might dress a little bit more bolder than a normal Virgo does, um, how to spot them. <laughs> um, maybe even with their hair, they'll be out there more. Um, also, like I was saying, you know, with that Leo energy, they'll like to, go out there and party a little bit more than a, than a Virgo would. Um, so this, this cusp I feel like is really fun to hang out with, to take out and to go do things with, you know, I love it. Next we have Virgo Libra cusp. 
your you know your Virgo Libra cusp if you were born between the dates September 19th through the 25th so Virgo Libra cusp I feel like these two I feel like a Virgo Libra cusp would have a really good style like they just know how to dress they know how to balance the room out they know they're really good organizers they know what looks good they know what can look good on other people I feel like these people th that are born on this cusp are really good with style like styling other people or styling homes like interior design um they're a lot they're also like you know very balanced with when they say things they're not so quick like i was saying about virgo you know a person being a, just a virgo like they're not so quick to say things that when even when they get to know you they're not so quick to tell you things that they feel because they don't want to rock the boat still like and they'll be super super shy and it'll take these virgo libra cuss people a lot longer to come out than i think you know someone with a leo virgo being on a leo virgo cusp it will take someone with this cusp a lot longer to come out of their their shell um you know they're a lot more shyer they're a lot more harder on themselves um you know and they're always trying to make sure other people around them are really good they, you know whereas a leo virgo cusp is more assertive and protective i feel like a leo uh, excuse me i feel like a virgo libra cusp is a lot more quiet and um attentive you know than a leo virgo cusp so I feel like this cusp too is a lot more delicate um, and not, and then I don't mean like they're weak or anything. I just mean like they do things a little bit more delicately. They're not so quick to move around where, uh, you know, and throw things around where as that fire energy on top of that Virgo energy, they're a lot more like, even though they're organized and assertive with that Leo energy, but that Virgo is organized. I also feel like Leo Virgo cusp people would be a little bit more messier, <laughs> but I feel like Virgo Libra cusp people will be a lot more uh organized really organized everything has to be tip-top shape and you know they really stress about the you know being perfect because libras like to be perfect too you know so they always want to look good and you'll you'll know about them because they're always looking good well put together their house is good everything is good you know they're just like that trophy person which is what this cusp reminds me of libra, libra scorpio cusp um you know your libra Scor scorpio cusp if you're born between the dates october 19th through the 25th this is one of my all-time favorite cusps like honestly like they're crazy like i love libra uh, scorpio cusp sorry to start off your 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 stuff like that but libra virgo cusp man they're they're so you know chatty and they're so you know they like to go out and do things like i was saying about the other cusps these people are a little bit more quieter as well they move a little bit more quieter around the room they're one of those people that are just very i don't know when i think of a libra scorpio cusp they like to float around the room with that air energy but they're very mysterious and they like to observe other people this is the cusp i wish i was <laughs> um if i had to be on a cusp if i had to choose a cusp i want to be i would want to be a libra uh scorpio cusp um as one of them or like I was saying, um, an Aquarius Pisces cusp, I really would want to be that one. And I'll say my third one that I want to be that's coming up. So yeah, um, I, when I think of Libra Scorpio cusp, like I was saying, like they are just that energy that just like floats about the room, but there's this quietness about them. They're very subtle when they move, but then there's they're still like you know they like to hold conversations so they'll hold your con the whole conversations with you for a minute and they'll just be like, hmm, interesting. Oh, that's cool. Like. But they're, they're so like, you know, like smiley and like showy with their smile or laughing loud, a bit loud, you know, not too loud because Libras aren't loud. But like, you know, they're just, they just have this good energy about them that makes you feel good. It, just thinking about it makes me want to be around one. Like they're just so protective as well, but they're delicate with how they're protective. They're so considerate, you know, I'd say more than a Scorpio, like they're, they're really considerate and they really um, think before they speak, you know more even more so with that Scorpio energy you know also these two these two energies together they're not afraid to back away and not they won't get confrontational with you they're just back away now there are those crazy Libra Scorpio cusp that will get in your face and get crazy because Libra can get crazy Libra can you know go over the top same with Scorpio so when you combine these two energies you know and this person is operating from a lower level they can be very dangerous at the same time to be around because as well as they're observant they're also and they're logical 
they know how to logically fuck with you. They know how to emotionally, they know how to logic, logically and emotionally fuck with you at the same time. So it's like they're picking your brain, but they're fucking with you emotionally at the same time. And this is the darker side of this, guys. I feel so, but they, they like to still go out, but they have this very like dark quality to them. And, you know, they got that Venus and that Pluto together. So it's like they're loving, but they're dark at the same time. And I just love this combination. I think it's very intriguing. Um, I actually hope in the future I date a Libra Scorpio cuss person. I think that would be interesting. <laughs> also, these two energies together, you know, they, they already are like love to go out and have fun, like I was saying. But they these two would all energies would probably also be okay with you know, participating in a little bit of fun sexually. Um, but also when they settle down, they settle down and they don't share. They're still very possessive and they're still very caring and giving to their person. So I like this energy a lot. <laughs> okay, so the next cusp I'm going to talk about is the Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. And um, you know you're this cusp if you were born between the dates November 18th through the 24th. I can personally speak on this cusp again because I know and knew of a best friend that has this energy. So this energy is really fun to be around. So one of the many things I love about this cusp, and of course they're gonna, gonna address some things I didn't like about it. Um, one of the things that I really like about this cusp is they're so fun to be around. Like they're so funny um, when they're channeling like that, that Sagittarius energy that can be very like blunt and in your face and very intense at the same time but very like funny and like comical to be around they just like love to laugh make you laugh they like to say things that fuck with you they like to you know say jokes that would you know fuck with you that would make you go oh my god like what the fuck did you just say and then just laugh in your face like like I was saying about just Sagittarius energy so imagine that on top of Scorpio like that's intensified you know so they the this cusp lives to give you reactions this cusp lives to make you uh you know they like to do this thing where they like to piss you off just to fuck with you like and then they just laugh at you and they go oh my god like the fuck up when they're the one that's like fucking intense like <laughs> this cusp also likes to um they're never sitting still you know they they do have that energy where they like to be home they like to be with their family um but they don't always like to be home they like to go out they like to go do things they like to explore and expand and grow and they're always 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 pushing themselves to be better than who they were before they can this cusp can also be very possessive and controlling and you know want it their way you know because already scorpio energy is like this and then you add that sagittarius energy to it where it makes it in more and uh it makes it even more intense so this um this this um cusp is always looking to um you know have fun or to be the life of the party or they want your attention on them so they can be very like i said possessive um they don't let people in very easily it's hard for them to um let people in or to care about people that are strangers because they like to protect themselves at all costs with that Scorpio energy, but then they fight with this energy too because, you know, their, their Sagittarius side wants them to be open, but the Scorpio side, side says to hold the fuck on. You don't know that person, so therefore, you know, get to know that person, you know, and make sure that you know everything about that person before you open up to them. Even if they open up to that person, it's not likely that they'll, you know, they'll um, always tell you everything. Even though Sagittarius's are very open, and I love that about Sagittarius's, this cusp will always hide things from you. This cusp will always hold secrets in. They're always because they got that Scorpio energy, so they they're just always like, you know, they're always side eyeing you, or they're always like not trusting you. They also like I was saying about Libra and Scorpio cusp, they're that energy that you know likes to go about the room and like, you know. But this cusp actually is different than the Libra and. Um, Scorpio cusp because you know the lead the the Scorpio Sagittarius cusp will stay in the background and like let their friend do them but they'll like watch they'll like watch their friend and if their friend needs them to hop in there's just like they're like in your face <laughs> I mean like I was saying about my best friend my best friend's like this so at the time she's like this and she would do this all the fucking time um and they also like to um protect people they are very they love when people like need them um, they get a lot of validation from that. So, you know, um, just know if they protect you, if they really fuck with you, they will protect you and they'll be very loyal to you. 
Um, also, like I was saying, like they are like if they're at a party, they're ones that won't walk up to people right away. They'll just like observe, even though they're Sagittarius. I just like, bitch, get out there, have fun. But that Scorpio energy is like, but I don't know these people. And so therefore, why should I be open with them? <laughs> So I, all in all, these people are hard workers. I love this energy so fucking much. Um, I loved this energy about my best friend. She kept me very intrigued, very interested. Um, and I think she's an awesome person because of this cusp. But they can be, when they're operating from their lower level, they can be very fucking hard to deal with. Um, so just, you know, try to deal with them as long as you can. Because they're intense. Okay, so last but not least, we have the Sagittarius and Capricorn cusp. You're on this cusp if you were born between December 18th through the 24th. This cusp, I can say, I didn't realize this, but my mom is is on the cusp of uh, Sagittarius and Capricorn. So I can speak about this too. Um, you know, you being, uh, you know, having that Sagittarius energy already on top of that Capricorn energy. The Sagittarius energy helps the Capricorn to be very lighthearted. And I can speak about this energy too, because like I've said in my previous Sagittarius video, I have uh, I have Sagittarius energy. So I, I kind of am like this already. But you know, the Sagittarius energy helps the Capricorn to lighten the fuck up, to not be so, you know, serious about everything. Although the Capricorn can be very serious still with that Sagittarius energy, they're not always like this, which is great. And Capricorns are not always serious, you know? So this balances each other out. Like they both... You know, Sagittarius and Capricorn almost have that same, you know, humor, that same um, push your buttons type of humor. So I feel like this cusp works really well. This is another cusp I would want to be. Um, so they, you know, the Sagittarius helps the Capricorn to keep things very lighthearted, to always get that luck and to expand because things can be, uh, uh, things can be very hard for Capricorns to get. Um, so it really helps them to, you know, channel the, uh, the Capricorn to channel that energy and to bring luck to them and to bring blessings to them and to grow and to expand and for things to not be so hard, you know, and maybe lessons that the Capricorn has to learn won't always be so hard. Um, so this energy of that Sagittarius energy, this helps. energy of the um, Capricorn and the Sagittarius together helps the energy to balance each other out and to learn lessons, but to always grow as you're learning those lessons and not get stuck because Capricorn energy can get stuck. You know, we can get com too complacent in certain areas. We can get too comfortable, but the Sagittarius energy helps for the Capricorn to always keep moving, always to keep expanding and growing and learning. And always being better as and that helps as well because that's what the Capricorn wants the Capricorn wants to climb that ladder the Capricorn wants to grow and to expand but they need that help and I feel like if you're on this cusp you're always growing learning and expanding with that Sagittarius energy it makes things not so hard you know you don't when you fall you know you there's that cushion of it you know there's that cushion I mean that cushion could be fire because Sagittarius is fire but also, you know, I feel like this energy too, it will keep a good balance too with that lightheartedness and that super funny and, and, um, with that Capricorn energy be super witty at the same time, but dark with the jokes, very tongue in cheek type of humor. Again, I identify because I have Sagittarius in my chart a lot. I have a grand trine in Sag. So I know how this energy operates on top of being a Capricorn. So it just keeps things more interesting. You're always keeping people guessing, you know, just being Capricorn in general and being a Sag, you know, there's that added layer, but still you can, you're very open and welcoming. And there's that warmness about you that a Capricorn, you know, that other people feel like that Capricorn lacks. Well, when you got that Sag, energy it just helps to propel that warmness inside you and for people to you know feel like they can relate to you and you know for that person to feel like you know they can be open with you and you'll care Sagittarius are also also love to show how passionate they are about whatever it is they're doing they like to be chatty they like to talk this helps the Capricorn to open up a lot more and to be more relatable you know the Sag energy helps that it helps move it forward it's beautiful I like this cusp this cusp too so guys, what did you think? That was my whole video on the cusp signs. Let me know what you think below. I had a good time, you know, jetting through these and getting getting this video done. Hopefully I can get this video out soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for all of the love and support. Again, I am available for personal readings. So make sure you hit that link below. Make sure if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I'm going to try to up, um, upload as much as possible. Um, just be patient with me, guys. I've been very busy with readings and school and work. <sighs> such a Capricorn, right? Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this cusp video. I wanted to make one out because I wanted to put one out because a lot of people 
astrologers anyway don't talk about you know the sign uh all the you know different energies of both cusp energy so uh, i hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching and thank you for the support again love and light bye